Rottweiler Vlogs, episode 118. It's your boys Mizzle and Mac back with another dope episode. That's right, we got Deshaun Johnson back. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy it. Got my first girl, Akbar Force Kennels. Her name is Cradius. Proud to have this little girl on my hand. She's gonna be something special. Nice, nice. And my, my apologies, I wasn't there to film you taking her off the plane and all that good stuff. Oh, good. You know, um, I've been doing a lot of breedings with, with Batman and schedules have just been all over the place, but um, you was able to get down to the airport to pick her up. How was that um, process for you the second time doing it by yourself this time? I will say, thanks to you, it was a great experience this go-round. As you can see, she's real antsy and, and full of energy. But uh, this go-round, it was very easy because I learned a lot from you being at the first process. Got with the broker customs agent all the paperwork was submitted ahead of time so the day of they arrived they probably waited a max of an hour in their crate it was in and out easy busy process nice and talk to me about your boy he's in the background that's him playing with um the uh, little plastic thing come here boy come here, come here. that's kratos come here kratos come here come here boy come here, come here. how's he been doing kratos been good as you can see right now he's six months weighing in roughly about 75 pounds so, uh, you know, he's, he's starting to turn into something very special as well. Come here, boy. I met a young man here in Atlanta. His name is Tim Rucker. Tim Rucker is up in North Georgia. I uh, saw him on Facebook. I saw a, a, a puppy that he produced a while back. And when I saw that puppy, I was like, yo, I got to have me one. And the reason I really wanted a Rottweiler is because I travel a lot for work. You know, I have a mother who's a senior citizen, and I also work with senior citizens. So I'm always looking for ways to expand my brand as the guru of apps. And working with senior citizens in fitness, I had the idea of getting a wonderful dog such as a Rottweiler that I one of the top family dogs and protective dogs. But I also said, let me create a brand, GOA Kennels, which stands for Guru of App Kennels. We're going to drop it soon. But my ultimate end goal with working with Rottweilers is to build my own kennel brand but breed Rottweilers that can become service dogs and protective dogs for senior citizens. A lot of senior citizens out here in the world are lonely, they're at home, and sometimes they get taken advantage of, but if we can get them with a quality Rottweiler that is trained from a puppy to an adult to protect them, listen to them, and service them, I think we can create something special. And I look at individuals like yourself, a lot of these breeders like, you know, Akbar Force Kennel, Simona, it's just across this world, it's a lot of big brands and I vision myself being on that level one day, but also, like you say, just producing quality Rottweilers. We all know that it's a lot of mixed breeds out here, a lot of different facial structure, bone structures, but I've been blessed to get a great, a quality Rottweiler puppy, puppies that is, and just be it from that point. First and foremost, I gotta pay homage because Tim Rucker, my brother, I appreciate you. He actually opened my eyes to the big picture. You know, I saw a product that he produced with uh, Major's uh, son. And, and, and when I saw Major, I was like, wow. And the first puppy that I got from Tim, it was a beautiful puppy. His name was, um, what did we name him? His name was Mozzie. But then I realized that I wanted a import look with the tail and I wanted something from the ground up. So a family member of mine wanted to rock wild. He was like, yo, I can't wait, I can't wait. So I said, I tell you what, let me go ahead and give you mines and then I'll just go ahead and invest in the import. So that's how he connected me with Simone. It's like I say, man, I gotta pay that guy much love because most breeders don't share information, but that guy willingly passed me his, passed me Simona's information, got in the Wild Rider group, did my research, got my first puppy, Kratos, then went right back to it, got my second puppy, which is Kratos, and it's on from that point. So once again, man, Tim Rucker, I appreciate you, my brother, for creating something new. I'm gonna always pay homage and let it be known. You know what I'm about to say. As a father and you a father, you know, when we have newborn babies, we don't get no sleep. So when you got newborn puppies, young puppies, that first night, separation anxiety, they're not sleeping. They're asleep when they can, but they ow the whole night. They howling the whole night. And then it makes you reconsider like, is this what I signed up for? But then again, when you sit down and watch them play, when you sit them love on your family and your kids, it makes you feel like, okay, I know it's gonna be some time invested, but it's what I want and it's what I signed up for. And like you say, man, it's just, if you want it, to all those that is watching this, if you think about getting a Rottweiler, do your research, have patience, do not rush the process. Get what you want, but also understand that 
what you put in is what you get out. You have to love on these dogs for them to be a loving in return, all right? But to answer your question again, it was rough. <laughs> so Kratos, first and foremost, Simona and her husband, you can tell that they love what they do. And the reason I say that is the puppy's temperament is so welcoming and warming all Kratos wants to do is be rubbed. He wants to hug on you. And I don't even think Kratos realize how big he is. And the same thing with Kratos. All she wants to do is just be rubbed and loved. And you see that when Simona showcases the love and care and the attention and amount of time that they spend with their dogs. Unlike most breeders, they may leave them in the cage all day. They may leave them in the kennel all day. But Kratos started to come out of his shell. It took, it took about a week or two for him to get used to eating and going outside using the bathroom but Kratos, she's different she came here made her place at home like never before came outside used the bathroom she's running around full of energy but then as a puppy when she go to sleep she wants to howl all night because she don't like the crate so we try not to put them in that crate stuff when they go to sleep at night but like you say it's still a learning process us understanding the dog and the dog understanding us and just building that bond how has it been for your pack your family pack well at first my family was like you got another dog? Because at first, you know, we got Guru, the Frenchie. Then we brought Kratos, the first Rottweiler. Then I told him, I said, listen, I'm finna get a girl because I wanted to breed later on down the line. So we brought her in. But the family has been very receptive to it. At first, they was a little hesitant because we went from one dog to two to three in just a matter of weeks. But, you know, my mom loves them. She's a dog. My kids love them. You know, everybody spends equal amount of time caring for them, feeding them walking them and they're major help to what I do when I travel because you know if I'm running late if I got to go into town my son helps feed him I show how to measure the food proper serving so the family is a big part of this process and they're, they're loving it as well and they're excited to watch the dogs grow. Talk to me about some of the training and stuff like that you've done with, with him. Well first and foremost shout out to John who's very been hands on you know with Kratos since he first got here. So you know we did um, I think we did one or two rounds with obedience, name recognition, come sit stay. That's about all we've done thus far but we are also looking into more training with John and just more training overall just investing that training into Kratos to turn him into an all around Rottweiler, service dog, protector, just a a complete Rottweiler. So the training has been phenomenal. John's done a great job. And we're looking to invest in the same amount of time and attention to Kratos as well. With the training, have you seen any of those traditional Rottweiler traits start to come out of him already? Oh, oh yeah, he's stubborn. He's stubborn. Listen when he wants to. You say come, he come. You say stop, he don't stop. So, you know, it's just like a babe. We have to realize that we have to tell the kids, like, listen, he's only six months. What did you do at six months? So a lot of stuff he's gonna do, he's gonna tear up, he's gonna spill his food, he's gonna grab stuff. So we have to remind ourselves, he may be big, but he's still a baby in the mind. I think that video is very special because it's a lot of people that wants to get a dog imported, but they don't understand the amount, that's a, the amount of time that's included in it, as well as the fees. You know, a lot of people say, hey, I wanna get a dog from overseas. Okay, what's the price? You got that price, but then the process to get the dog over here, you gotta make sure you got a broker. You gotta make sure you got a shipping agent. You gotta pay shipping fees. You gotta pay custom fees. So yeah, you may find a dog overseas for 2,000, 2,500, but then shipping may cost you another 1,000 to 1,500. So you just turn around and spend $4,000 for a dog. And a lot of people don't realize that, but once again, it's an investment. You know, if you want a high quality dog, you gotta get the necessary step to get it over here. But you know, that video just summed it up. And that was the whole mission behind that video was to let people know that it's not an easy process. But if you got the right knowledge, which what you helped me with, helped me with, my previous process, it was a piece of cake. I learned how to avoid those loopholes, learned how to get multiple dogs over here, save on the shipping, and then when my dogs got here the day of, I was able to get it right away. A lot of people say, well, what if I just want to get a quality dog here in the States? Which there's plenty of quality dogs here in the States. They don't want to import. That's not my thing. What's your advice to those people? My advice for those people is, once again, do your research. Get in the Rottweiler groups on Facebook. Watch, be active in them. Know who the breeders are. Know what the breeders produce. But then also, look within your local community. And it's like, I, I got connected with Mike on Facebook. You know, when you get in those groups, you see certain breeders, look at the mutual friends. You see what I'm saying? You have to know what's in there. And if you don't want to get something imported, 
find one local in your city. And it's a lot of dope breeders out here, but once again, you just have to do your research, find someone in your local area, or find someone within driving distance, because it will save you a lot of money. But once again, you just have to do your research and find something that's suitable for you and your budget. I'm sure you're gonna be on more episodes of Route Waller Vlogs, and I appreciate you being here, episode 118. Hopefully, this one has just as much success. And we're gonna check Deshaun Johnson in part three of Route Waller Vlogs. Give another six month update to yeah. your dogs and all that good stuff. So, yeah. any final words before we close this out? Hey man, stay tuned, man. We building something special once again. Shout out to Agba Force Kennels, Simona. Shout out to Tim Rooker, OTR, for introducing me to Simona. And then shout out for my brother Mike Mungo for accepting my Facebook friend request weeks ago, showing me how to do the import process. You guys stay tuned, man. GOA Kennels, Guru of Apps Kennels. Something new, special, upcoming here in Decatur, Georgia, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm excited to start my Rottweiler journey.